All right, guess what? My new computer arrived. And you know what else? She's a sexy beast. She really is. She's got lights on her. She's got, you can probably hear her gently humming away in the background. She's nowhere near as loud as my old one was, but my microphone now is better. So to be honest to you, it probably sounds exactly the same, but I promise you, she's a lot quieter than the old one was. I, I was going to put her under the desk and that would probably have muffled some of the background noise that you're hearing. But I mean, she's too pretty, man. I just can't, I can't put her under the desk. She's too beautiful. I want her there where I can see her with all of our nice shiny lights and her, her water cooled cooling system. And, 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 and just, just, she's just so pretty, man. And she's so neat. You should see how neat all of the wires are. I'm incredibly impressed with whoever built this because it is very, very neat. Anyway, yes, I'm back. And um, I've been sitting here for so long trying to do an intro that I've just realised that the, um, the, the the background music has stopped. There was music going on, but uh, the game has given up on me. I've spent that long sitting here trying to do an intro because I hate intros. I really hate them. But anyway, this is Portal. We are going to play Portal. I have sat down. It is Sunday. It is exactly a week since I recorded that update video. Um... And I got an email on, I think it was Friday, that said my new computer would be delivered Monday. And I thought, yeah, absolute bugger, the day I'm back at work after I've been off a week. But no, it arrived yesterday morning instead. So uh, I spent yesterday setting it up and downloading things. And oh, I've been playing Dragon Age Origins again for the first time in absolutely ages. It's the best thing ever. And then this morning I decided I should probably record a video. And then I thought, what should my first one be? And I thought, I've got no idea. And then I thought, Portal, why not? Because you know the brilliant thing about Portal? Aside from the fact it's like one of the classics and everybody loves it and blah 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 blah. You can you can sit down and complete it in one sitting quite easily. So we are going to play the entire game from start to finish. So this will probably be quite a long video but not too long because Portal is not like the massivist, massivist game in the world. And I've just noticed that there is a concerning stain over there on the floor. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if I've ever noticed that concerning stain before but that's just a concerning stain over there that for some reason GLaDOS has decided not to clean up. Anyway, yes, we'll jump in before I start waffling, which is a thing that I am highly likely to do. It's been a while since I've played Portal. It's been long enough that I can't remember the solutions to any of the puzzles, so that's something. Yes, this is us waking up in our little chamber. And there's our little countdown over there. Oh, and I've got a radio. I do love a radio. That's 85.2 FM. Is that Radio 2? No, Radio 2 is... Um, 88 to 91 FM, isn't it? Yeah. Know how cool I am listening to Radio 2. Hello. Oh, hello! Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. The portal will open in three, two, one. Oh, there's the portal. Thank you, GLaDOS. Can I smash this cup anymore? I always want to try and smash this because you can smash the cup, but it always smashes in exactly the same way, and I always want to try and smash it more. Smash it more. Sma oh, fine then, you stupid indestructible cup. Um, that's a very, very small kind of sleeping pod sort of thing. I must have been like curled up in the fetal position or something to sleep in there. I imagine I've got quite bad cramp. Although, you can see there, that's me. That's me. I can't remember what my name is. Is it Chell? Chell? Yeah, I think it's... Ooh! Hello, darling. Ooh. Ooh, very sexy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There we go. And wait, and wait, and wait. Sometimes the game doesn't quite keep up and it keeps her looking straight ahead. Which is interesting, but yeah, oh, that's quite the pose, that is, with my little leg braces on. Make me jump really high. Well, they don't make me jump that high, but they make me completely immune to fall damage. There is no fall damage in, um, um, this game. Portal, that's it. I was about to call it Fallout there. Uh, what's that? It's, 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 it's very pixely. Something, portal test sequence, something identification card. Oh, yes, these are all of the things. Like, it's going to drop a box on my head or it's going to incinerate with lasers or something like that. That can go, um, actually, you can go, you can just go, you can just go, hang on, wait, 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 you can just go, there we go, in the nice dirty toilet. I'll take my radio, though, I like my radio. Right, GLaDOS, darling, what are we doing? We're in, we're in zero, 
and and she's gonna drop a box on my head apparently hello oh i have missed you sweetness you're, you're my good old friend glados it's been too long darling it's been too long yes you're gonna drop a box you're gonna say anything do you want to say anything you're just gonna stare at me to try and make me uncomfortable okay i'm gonna put my radio down there grab the nice box i assume you want me to put the box on the bottom do you excellent Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. She destroyed my radio, guys. I think I will possibly never forgive her. Okay, let's jump into the lift, which is cleverly disguised as a, no, no, the loading zone that is cleverly disguised as the lift. Not the lift that is cleverly disguised as the loading zone. In the good old days where games always used lifts as loading zones. So many games did this, didn't they? Using lifts as loading zones. Of course, famously, Mass Effect. You know how much I loved the lifts in that. Right. Number one. Oh, that was number zero. That was just like tutorially. Oh, number one, one of 19. Oh, nothing is gonna happen to me in here, apparently. Nothing. So we've got boxes falling from sky, box falling on head, um, being hit by a laser, something else with, with lasers, um, drowning in toxic electricity goo or something, um, falling down portal, um, being propelled out of portal, being shot by a robot, drinking from a water fountain, and cake! Yay! Everybody loves cake. Right, what's going on in here? GLaDOS? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Okay, sweetness. Um, I'm always curious as to how GLaDOS is making portals without a portal gun. I find that quite suspicious, like how she's just generating them without a portal gun. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Oh, GLaDOS, I love you so much. I really have missed you, you know. It's been far too long. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Okay, that's fine. We won't worry too much about that. I mean, you've already put like braces on my legs and <gasps> the portal gun. Oh, the 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 the, the fable portal gun. I always think the portal gun looks a bit like the eye mod for the leap balls. That's what it always reminds me of. Um, oh, I missed the portal. Oh, I've got to stand here now and wait for it to bloody portal me up again. Portal me up, gun. Portal me up. Oh yes, and all of the creepy windows where you could just about see chairs and stuff because it's all frostedy glass. But. There's nobody there. And you're like, where are all the people, GLaDOS? What have you done to them, GLaDOS? Right, can I have this portal gun, please? Yay! Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Uh-huh. Okay, what happens if I do this? To Yay! the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Oh, but now you can't see me, GLaDOS. Now you... Oh, she can still see me from up there, can't she? Yeah, and I can't can't reach us through up there. Okie dokie, well, let's just get our blue portal on. Oh, was that it? That was literally just how you make a portal. Ooh, and now I can see myself from all angles. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of, that, I mean, that one, that one's looking at me over there in the blue one, and that's definitely not where I'm looking, so. Okay, there might, <laughs> there might be just some creepy kind of, uh... oh, I can chase myself, I can chase myself. I can ch chill, 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 come back, chill, chill, stop avoiding me. <laughs> Jell, I want to be your friend, really. Okay, right, we're done. Right, we're done. Hello, Glados, number three. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Oh, oh, you're being coy. You're being coy. I like it when you're coy, Glados. I like it that she's just got a bit of a sense of humour. 
Mind the gap. What happens if I actually go down in the gap? Nothing, GLaDOS. Nothing. I don't need to mind the gap at all because I can get out of the gap just by doing this. You see? You see? I'm better than you are. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. What happens if I pick you up and just put you through like... Hmm. Just put you, just put, just put you down there. Just put you down there. There we go, darling. That's fine. I think you're better off down there. And then she's just, she's up there as well. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. What happens if I just keep doing it? Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Does she just keep getting annoyed? I think she just keeps getting a bit annoyed. There's more concerning stains. I don't like all of these concerning stains, Glados. I feel like I want a. Whee! That's exciting, well, isn't it? Then. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. I don't have a daughter, I don't think. Do you think Chell has a daughter? I can't imagine Chell has a daughter. I get the impression that Chell was probably um, taken from a very young age and locked in a laboratory for most of her life. Um, <laughs> oh! Oh, Gladys has found a new way to spy on me! <laughs> oh my god, she's everywhere. It doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> she's always looking at me. I don't like that stain. That concerns me, that does. Okay, darling, what do you want me to do? Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Oh, thank you. I was doing very well before. Now I'm only doing quite well. I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong. Okay, she's going to drop a box on my head. That's fine. Stand on button. Door opens. Portal there. Button up there. So... Oh, flippin' heck, man. You couldn't just have landed somewhere more convenient, could you? Now I'm gonna have to come down here and get you. Like I was your bloody mother. Way! Sometimes this game just kind of messes with your head. <laughs> Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Really? I'm not sure I believe that, GLaDOS. What happens if I try to shoot a portal through a portal? Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, that's kind of creepy, that is. She's still looking at me, man. She's always looking at me. That's actually really cool. I've never noticed that before. She's looking straight down because she can see me through the portal rather than looking at me like dead on. This game is cleverer than I ever realized. What are we on? Number five? Number five. And um, yeah, she said she wasn't going to monitor me, but like she's quite clearly just there. Is she still going to get annoyed if I destroy her? Oh my god, I can't destroy her. Oh, there, there isn't an orange portal in this one. Ah! Okay, well played there, GLaDOS. Well played, waiting until I was standing under you to open the other portal and then falling on my fucking head. <laughs> oh, she's crafty, isn't she? She's crafty. Right, so yeah, she's going to drop boxes on me. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm a bit terrified of that, I'll be honest. Right, so we've got two buttons. Two buttons to open that door. Will you just go away? Leave me alone. Stop spying on me, you little creep. Right, um... Okay, okay, okay. So, if I go through up here, and then... Whoop, and then... Ba <laughs> oh my god, it's like the one you're in a room with. Actually, in my grandma's house, um... In her bathroom, she used to have... I don't know if she still does, because I haven't been in that house for years. But, um... Which, also, she's dead, so... <laughs> she, she wouldn't have anything. But, um... Yeah, in her bathroom, her bathroom was quite long. And she had a mirror at one end and a mirror at the other. And when you stood in that bathroom, it was honestly like this. And I definitely used to stand there as a child and pretend to be a pop star. Definitely. Just like in my own music video. <laughs> it's definitely a thing that I used to do. Right. So pop you on there. And there's the other one down here. Yeah, the other one's down there. Uh, and then I can just grab you from in here and pop you there. See, I'm clever. I can solve puzzles. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. 
Yeah, you see, this is why one of the this is one of the reasons why I thought um, Portal would be a nice a nice kind of low maintenance video to break myself back in because Glados is doing all the entertainment for me. Like I don't really need to be providing any sort of comedy here. She's got it all sorted. So if we send that through there. Unbelievable. You subject name here must be the pride of subject form here. Thank you, Glados. You're you're very sweet, darling. Oh, 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 look, there's me. There's me being all sexy and wonderful. We've timed this right, haven't we? Yeah, we are rattling through these um, tests. However, I know that at one point, you're like, you're rattling through them. We're on number seven already. It's going really well. And then you get to one and it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> now I have to use my brain, man. I don't want to have to use my brain. Number eight. We have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Followed, followed by, by death. death. Good luck. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. Sorry, that's just one of my favorite lines in anything ever. <laughs> followed by death. Uh, and then there ish. There it. No, that. What? What? Wait. What? Oh, hang on. What's going on? That there. No. Wait. Wait, wait, I've got this, guys. I've got... I haven't got this. Right. So, one there. That that was in the wrong place. Right. Just just give me a minute. I've got this. Right. So, there. And then it comes out there. And then it needs to go back in. And then... I am so confused. Yes. No, it needs to go there, doesn't it? That's what it needs... Oh, flipping it. I made that more complicated than it needed to be, didn't it? Jesus. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Right, if we get through to here, and then <clears throat> we should be able to just step on at some point, avoiding the toxic sludge. Oh, this looks like the sludge from, um, oh, what was it called? Presented by Lenny Henry. Get Your Own Back. Oh my god, that was one of my favourite kids' programmes ever. I love Get Your Own Back. I, get Your Own Back and Jungle Run were like two of my favourite kids programmes ever but yeah get my own back it was I'm pretty sure it was Lenny Henry wasn't it was it Lenny Henry very impressive please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience uh huh yes I believe he was it was Lenny Henry wasn't it I'm sure it was and then there was a woman with him as well maybe it wasn't Lenny Henry I can't remember now. It was a brilliant show anyway. I love Get Your Own Buck. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Okay. I'll just, I'll just stand here then, GLaDOS. Just stand here. Are you sure it's impossible, GLaDOS? Because I'm not sure I entirely believe you. Okay, so... Right. So, there's an Emancipation Grill there. So I can't... The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Yeah, so I can't, I can't take the things through because, because they just disintegrate into dust. Hmm, yes. So that is, that is quite the predicament you have left me with there, GLaDOS. I don't know how I am possibly going to solve that one. Once Maybe. Again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, or I could just do this. I mean, you know, that could work too. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. Hello again. To reiterate... Momentum. Uh-huh, momentum, yes. So, jump! That's like momentum me, And then, I think, yeah, so there's a thingy up there. And then if I put a thingy down there, like there, 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 there-ish, jump in. Whee! Momentum! You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. So, if we put a one in there, and then we jump down here, and fling ourselves. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy, speedy thing, thing goes in, speedy, speedy thing, thing comes out. out. <laughs> 
Uh, and then we just jumpy down here. I like that I still have this game pretty much memorised off by heart, even after all these years. <laughs> it's just one of them games, man. Sticks with you. The Enrichment Centre promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Centre promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. <laughs> Um, right, what the fuck is that one down there? Because, oh, Dragon Age Inquisition is ready to play. <laughs> it's good to know, isn't it? Sorry, I've got Origin downloading all of my Origin games in the background. Because Steam doesn't download games while you're playing, does it? Because it's an arse. But, uh, yes, um, it should be installing, um, well, no, it'll install all of the DLC for Inquisition and then it'll install Mass Effect 3, hopefully. Right, yeah, what the fuck is that? That just looks like no drinking from water fountains. That's what that looks like. Or is it, is it don't touch the water or something? Oh, there's another portal gun. Oh, I'm going to get my two portals. At that point, I am invincible. If I can work out how to get out of this room. How do I get out of this room? How, oh, you use a portal, won't you? Fucking idiot, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go out of there. Don't go out of there. Don't touch the floor. Right, uh, that looks more promising, doesn't it? Oh, there's a button. Should we press the button? I like a button. I'm going to assume that that's what I was meant to do. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's what I was meant to do. Yeah, because then I'll be able to get into the room when it finally comes back around here. That's all right then. And yep. Right, okay, now I can get into this room. Oh, man, I hate these. Ah, uh, right, where is it meant to be going? It's meant to be going over there, so... I shall have to wait until... That would have been the perfect moment if I hadn't been waffling. I shall have to wait until it's put a portal there and then put a one there. And whoop. Come on, come on, quickly before it before it thingies the hoochit. There we go. And yay! So now the thing's working. So I'm going to have to wait for it to come all the way back around again. Uh, I can go back through here if I want. Oh, there's me. There's me looking all sexy. Oh, look at my arse. I do have a good arse, don't I? Um, and then I can get through on it here. And that gun was pointing right at me there. That was a little bit terrifying. Come on, I just want the portal gun, man. There we go. Whee! The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject hometown. And jumpy through here. And oh, this is the exit. Oh, I thought there was more to it than that. Number 12. Sorry, I waited there because I thought Glass was going to say something. Oh, there she is. Fling into space. Fling into space. Fling yourself. Yes, okay, she's having a few problems. That's fine. I'm going to assume she's dealing with it. So she's going to drop boxes on my head and then fling me through space with portals. That's fine, but I have both portals now. I have both portals, so I have the power. I have the power. I can do whatever I want. I can just, like, wee, 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 wee. Yeah, anyway, I can do that if I want. <coughs> Ahem. Oh, Oh, we could fall off the stairs. That's another thing we could do. That's very, very handy. Yes. Um. Or, or we can put a portal up there and jump. Is that what I was meant to do? I think that's what I was meant to do. And jump. And oh, that was a button. Sorry, I'm just having fun doing that. Yes, I'm assuming I need to get that thingy from up there to, um... Sorry, I was just trying to work out how to get up there for a minute there, but there, if we put it there, and then we jump off of here. Wee! Ow! I definitely just smacked my face off that wall, and I don't have braces on my fucking face. <laughs> Got braces on my legs, but I don't have braces on my face. Can you, uh... Oh, I can't portal this. This is non-portalable. I don't like things that are non-portalable. And it goes against the whole sort of, you know, feel of the game, doesn't it? Jump! You can go on there. And now the door's open. Yay! I'm a genius. I'm a genius. 
You okay, GLaDOS? Feeling all right? Got a bit of a headache there, love. I'm sure she'll be fine. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with septic salve and adrenaline. Oh, thank you, GLaDOS. You're so sweet. You really are. Um, right. Right. Oh yes, I remember this one. So if we put a portal up there... Where's the thing? Right, so if we put a one there, and we put a one there, that should set the lift off, right? And down. Yay! So that gets the lift moving, and then I can put a one up there. And I should be able to drop down! <laughs> oh, that made my brain go squiffy. Um, <laughs> made my brain go squiffy. And then we jump down here and we put a blue one. Fucking hell, fucking hell. And then he dropped it, and then he dropped it. Right, so you can go there. And then, 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 put a one up there and an orange one there. And we fall onto this button and then we can put a portal in there. See, GLaDOS, you need to have more faith in me. Previously mentioned required test protocol. We can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. missed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for not lying, GLaDOS. Actually, that might have been a lie. I don't know. Maybe that was a lie. Hmm. Anyway, is this lift going to go? It annoys me how long it takes the lifts to get going, but it's just the loading times, man. It's the loading times. Even with my sexy new computer. I've called that Edie. Did I mention that? I've called my new computer Edie after Edie from uh, Mass Effect. <laughs> My old one was called Wheatley after Wheatley from Portal 2. <laughs> Maybe we'll get around to playing Portal 2 eventually. Right, 14. Oh my god, it's all fucking going on here. She's going to drop boxes on me. She's going to hit me with lasers. More lasers. Electrify goo stuff. Water fountains. Whatever that is. And, and, and flingy portals. Okay, we're getting complicated now. Compli oh, it's this one. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Yes, I believe this is the one where you can actually just bypass the whole thing. Because, if you put a portal there, wait, 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 I need to make sure I'm facing the right way. There we go, you can just bypass the entire test. That's it, that's the test done. That was... Yeah. That's just... I mean, we'll try and solve it the way we're meant to. Because, you know. <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> yeah, you can just bypass the whole thing. Oh, there I am. I love getting little just glimpses of myself. Look, I look so sexy in my little... Um, thing. Jumpsuit. Um, right, so if we put a portal there, and then... Jumpy downy here, and whoops, daisies. Oh, flipping it, man. J j j yes, yes, all right. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in an infinite loop. There we go. <laughs> Christ. Right, we'll put it like there. And then jumpy, 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 jumpy. Jumpy down here, and I'm facing the wrong way. I will get this. I will get this. I will get this. There we go. You can actually. It's very difficult, but you can, yeah, you can jump up onto that little bit there and use that to get yourself up here, because that's what I did the very first time I played this, because I couldn't work it out. <laughs> so you can actually do that. It takes a lot of time and effort, and it's actually much easier just to, you know, use the uh, thing that you're meant to use. But never mind. It really would be easier just to, you know, bypass the whole thing. I'm very tempted, because this one's a bit of an awkward one. But uh, yes, actually, I believe there's quite a few of the tests that just have a way that you can kind of cheat like that the speedrunners use um but you know get over here right yes oh uh, yes so you've got to kind of right put you there and then follow you and then so way and then and then, and then, oh, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, wait, do I need... I can't remember how to do this. Hang on. Right, so you put the portal there. So then you come out... It comes out through here. So that would be an orange one. So what I would need to do at that point... 
is run up and put a blue one there. Right. 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 Okay, so. I'll wait until it's done its thing because it can only bounce a certain number of times before it thingies. Right, so. Do 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 And then put a blue one there. Hey! Christ almighty. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Because now it's not going to... Apparently that worked. I'm not 100% certain how that worked, but that worked, so that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it was almost as easy as just flinging myself up there. That's okay. This is my complimentary lift or whatever it was she just said. Okay, what number are we on? Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and brief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help, help us all. all. <laughs> Cake and counselling, two of my favourite things. Right. Um, yeah, so just she's going to throw everything at me, really. There's a giant emancipation grill. What do you want from me, GLaDOS darling? What do you want? Um, put a nice one ooh, right right in the middle. I want it centred. I want it centred. There we go. And then if we do... Boop! And boop! Yay! Yay! That was pretty impressive, Glados. Do you want to want to say something about that? I thought that was pretty impressive. Okay, fine. Screw you then. Go away. Can I keep her? Can I keep her falling in an infinite loop? I want to keep her falling in an infinite loop, Glados. Glados. Oh, she's aiming at me now. Oh no! I know your tricks, Glados. <laughs> You're not getting me with that one again, right? Um. Oh. God. So there. Wait, is that gonna? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is exciting. I genuinely don't remember how to solve this one. If I can't, I can't put portals through there. If I do that, but then go through the thing, it. Ooh. 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 Maybe. Hang on. Oh, but then they both disappear. Oh, for the next segment. Ah, but. Yay! I solved it. I solved it. I thought that one was going to stump me for a minute. <laughs> um. Gonna say anything, Glados? Gonna say anything at all? No. Just, 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 just. Oh, she's in a corner there. I don't know if I can get her. There we go. I got her. Yeah. You just, you just lie there and think about what you've done. Oh, we're not finished yet. That's why she didn't say anything. Oh bloody hell, Glados! You're making these kind. Of... Hang on. Are we back where we started? No, we're not. We're not quite back where we started. There she is. There she is. Look at her. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Right, so, oh man, I remember this one as well. <sighs> right, okay, so if we put a portal up there, because we need to get through the thingamajit. Um, and if we jump, jump off there. Well done, me. That really worked well, didn't it? <laughs> For sake. Um, oh, I did a handstand. Uh, put you up there, and then jump, and whoops, my gun didn't work. Oh, that's because that's unportable. It's this bit that's portable, isn't it? Yeah, right. <clears throat> it's okay, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, trying to figure figure stuff out. Right, We we there we go, that's what I wanted. Right, now, oh. GLaDOS, why do you do this to me, woman? I'm actually a bit stuck here, aren't I? How do I... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. If I go... Wee, Wee! That gets me through here. Oh, I'm getting a little bit... <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Most first-person games give me motion sickness. Portal gives me so much motion sickness. Like, after I finish doing this, I will feel sick for the rest of the day. That is no exaggeration, because I've sat down to do this, like, just pretty much as soon as I got out of bed. And I will... 
I, 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 when I, I thought when I sat down, I thought, you know, you're going to just feel nauseous for the rest of the day. And that is genuinely a thing. I am going to feel nauseous for the rest of the day after doing this, even though I've got the field of view up as far as I can stand it. Um, my, I'm playing on a wider monitor than, than usual because I've got, I've got new monitors as well, guys. I've got new monitors. Um, but even so... <laughs> This starting to make me a little bit lightheaded, but that's absolutely fine. We don't worry about that too much. Right. We put a portal there and a portal there. It's not as simple as that, is it? It's like... Oh, it is as simple as that. Oh, okay. Um, how do I... Um, how do I... How do I... Yay! There we go. Oh, God. Really is making my head spin, but that's fine. We're not going to worry about that too much. Right. So, get through onto this lift. And then, I think. Yeah, hang on. Let me just jump off of here. Because there's another lift, isn't there? Wait, get through onto here. Which way are we going? We're going that way. Oh, that was right. I didn't think that was... I'm surprising myself at how good I am at this. I just nearly got fucking just killed by that bloody laser. Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry. I have genuinely just had to go and take a ten minute break because of how sick this game is making me feel. Oh, God. It really does just make me ill. It was a great one to pick for my first video back, wasn't it? Jesus. Right, where is that bloody laser meant to be going? Because I keep nearly fucking standing in its path and getting myself killed. Right. Let's have a wee look, see at what's in there. What's in here? Ow! Definitely just landed on my head there. That's fine. There's a button! I love a button. That opens that door, but it's on a timer. So, oh, it's the thing behind the doors. Oh, uh, right, yes. Now I remember. Now I remember. Okay. So that's on a timer, and that one will also be on a timer. So I need to open those doors and then get that through there. Okay. I think we can probably do that. So I put portal there and I go boop and then through here and boop and then portal and portal. Yay! That was easy, wasn't it? You can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science Self-Esteem Fund for Girls. It's true. Wow, GLaDOS. Wow. Do I have to... I mean, am I dead when the organs get taken out of me or... or... Am I still alive when that happens? I mean, because, like, I mean, I've got a donor card. I'm perfectly happy to donate my organs after I've already died a natural death. You know, <laughs> you don't need a donor card anymore, do you? Because now you don't you don't opt in anymore. You opt out now, don't you? You're automatically opted in. But I, I do have a donor card. It's in my purse, which I never take anywhere with me. So I suppose, you know, oh, well. <laughs> I think I actually opted in about three months before they completely changed the whole system where it was like, oh no, now you're automatically opted in, now you have to opt out if you don't want it. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. Okay, so we've got droids with lasers who are going to try and kill me. That's marvellous. That's abs Thank you, GLaDOS. You are so lovely to me. Um, if I pick up you, you should. Are you going to start firing at things? Can I throw you at GLaDOS? Can I, can I just... Whee! No hard feelings. I love the little robots. Oh, they're so cute and adorable, aren't they? I was trying to throw out at GLaDOS there because I thought maybe you would you would hit GLaDOS, but couldn't really manage that. Yeah. So um, they're not the best robots in the world because you really do just pick them up and hoid them and then they fire until they run out of bullets and then they die. And it's like, oh, that's a bit sad. That's like bees dying after they've stung you. And then you feel kind of guilty. Um, is that robot trying to fire at me and it can't figure out that there's fucking bulletproof glass in the way? Because you are a fucking genius, you are. <laughs> well done, love, well done. Yeah, so if we just want to have a bit of a sneak around here. Right, so you can see them because of their laser eyes. So if we just pop a bit of a... 
Oh man, where are you? Where are you? They take a while to target, don't they? Yeah, so... Boop. Are you still there? I love their little voices. Hello. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Sentry mode activated. Okay. Are you? Would you like to be my friend, please? Can I just knock you over? Oh. Oh, you don't even realize. You don't even know I'm here, do you, sweetheart? Despite the fact I'm quite clearly just knocking you over there. Please put me down. Please put me down. Right. Is there anybody I can make you fire at? Way Okay, okay, that didn't go entirely to plan. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was hoping I could make them fire at each other. Oh, that's my blood, that is. That's quite a lot of blood. I'm probably I'm probably in quite severe pain right now, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Ooh Yeah, some kind person has put it that's more of my blood on there now. It's definitely quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of blood. That's okay. Yeah, so some kind person has put little X's on the ceiling for me to put portals on. And then if I put you through there... There we go! That's how you do it. I knew there was a way you could use androids to take out other androids. Hello, GLaDOS! You enjoying this, are you? Ooh, I caught sight of myself there. Ooh, that's a good angle on me, isn't it? That's a good angle. I do have a nice arse, don't I? That's something that all video game protagonists have in common, is they, they all have just nice arses, don't they? Especially in third-person games. <laughs> Always make sure you've got a nice arse to stare at to uh, game developers. They're very nice like that. Oh, there's more. There's more help. That's that's written in blood, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's bulletproof class, so he can't do anything to me. Help. Yeah, that's definitely just... It's definitely blood there. So is this the first bit where we start to see the, beh the, beh the, beh the beh beh backstage areas? Yes, and there's a... There, I was going to say a bloody handprint, but it's more of an oily handprint. And also it's got one, two, three, four... Oh no, it does have five, but it looks wrong somehow. Never mind. Yeah, if we just want to have a bit of a jump in here. Seed crouch. Help. Help again. Um. There's some apertures. Oh, oh, it's a little frying pan. Oh, I've got a little cooking station. Oh, that's amazing. On a, like a on like a a, a burnout old computer or something. It's kind of cool. Milk. Where did you get milk from? Water? Where did where did you find all of this stuff, mystery person? And what's that? Aperture something or another. I have something written on it. Beans. Oh, <gasps> you were making beans. Oh man, you were living the life, man. I had beans for my breakfast this morning. I had beans and scrambled egg on toast. With how nauseous I'm feeling right now, I feel like that was probably a mistake. But never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe should have had breakfast after um playing this game never mind right yes yeah, so <clears throat> what have we got the cake is a lie yes the cake is a lie um lasers a trusted friend in something solace so, silence so see uh, who knows it's too pixely hello can i help you that's the little robots isn't it can i put a portal there oh i can it's portable i'll uh, i'll put it there instead and then a poster of cake yeah so this was somebody's little hidey hole one of glados's previous victims probably this is our first little indicator well i was gonna say this is our first little indicator that all might not be well but um you know i think you could probably tell from the beginning that something's a bit off about this whole thing right so that android wants to shoot me which is a shame, really, because I was kind of hoping we could be friends. But... Can I... There we... Is there more of my blood on the wall now? Look, I've only got so much blood to lose, all right? Would you please stop doing that now? I should be able to drop that on your head. So that's him dealt with. And then there's another one. Oh, he didn't manage to get me. <laughs> There we go. So this is how you deal with the androids. You just drop boxes on their heads. And the person who came before me was kind enough to put little things on the ceiling. Gonna run out of bullets eventually, love. I mean, come on. Right, okay. I'm gonna make a run for it. I think I'm gonna make a run for it. I'm gonna get this box. And I'm gonna make a run for it over here. Run, 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 that's a lot. That's in the shape of a heart. Oh, that's rather sweet, that is. Isn't that lovely? I feel like I am probably quite close to death at this point, though. So, um, whip. I want to put it on the ceiling. 
and then take my box back along here. Run, 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 run. It's just a bit more of my blood I've lost there. Right, is that the right? Flippin' heck, man. Okay, I'm going to have to jump down there myself. I'm going to have to do this myself. Oh, oh, oh. This is nerve-wracking. Okay, 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 okay. So if I just... Just, you're searching for me, but you can't see me because you're an idiot. I'm going to put a portal here so that I can escape if I need to. Searching. Oh, flip it, come on. Activating. Help. Help. <laughs> That's so sweet. I feel kind of bad. I just like throw you. Excuse me. Whoa, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. No hard feelings. They're so they're so adorable. I feel really bad for them. Because you know what? Knowing GLaDOS, I feel like they're probably victims as much as I am. Right. Oh, there's a radio! Oh, I got my radio back in another mug. Which smashes in exactly the same way as the other one. Oh, it really annoys me that I just can't smash that bit. Just just smash, man. Just smash. Can I uh, make you hit this one if I go over here? No. Can I make you hit this one? Make you hit... Make it... Oh, I really just want to make them shoot each other. Look! The glass is bulletproof. It's not going to break. Will you just stop trying? Give it up, love. So, I'm guessing I need to drop cubes on all of these guys. Whoop! Or, I could just nip through. Nip through, nip through, nip through. Flipping neck, man. No, 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 darling. I wanted you to, like, fall over. There we go. No, don't shoot at me! Egg. This would be so much easier if they'd just given me a gun, you know. I could, re I would like it if they'd given me a gun. Right, you can go through there. Whoops, the daisies! I didn't realise he could see me. Flipping egg, man. There's an arrow up there. Yes, I know, I know. This is this is quite a lot of blood I've lost by now. I think I'm just gonna throw one of your uh, old buddies on top of your head. Hey, there we go. Flipping Nora, man. Is that all of them? Like, finally. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one of these to where? Uh, ooh, is that something written under there? There's something written under there. I thought there was something written under there. I'm apparently just seeing things. I'm actually going mad. I think the uh, the, the the strange science experimentation lab thing has finally driven me over the edge. There we go. Oh, there's a fucking another one, man. Of course, there's a fucking another one, right? Put a bloody thing in there and sneak up behind him. Oh, hello, GLaDOS. You enjoying this, are you? Well, do you know what, love? I think I'm going to put a nice portal well, above his head. Over. And I'm going to drop... I was going to say I'm going to drop her on him, but um, that didn't really work, did it? So, um, there we go. Okay. So, and then there's another one in there. Put a portal up there-ish. And then I'm going to drop GLaDOS on him as well. I'll get lost. Aww, I don't blame you. Um, <laughs> I want one, you know. I want one minus the bullets. I want one without bullets in him. That's what I want. And they're very, very cute. Anyway, um, yeah, let's well go through. Done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. Wow. Dark, GLaDOS, dark. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna incinerate his body there, give him a proper funeral. Oh my god, he was still alive! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! I didn't realise he was still alive. Oh, I feel awful now. Oh my god. Oh GLaDOS, you've turned me into a monster. I am horrified I killed the poor android. Not only did I kill him, I fucking incinerated him in an emancipation grill. Oh, I didn't realise he was I didn't realise he wasn't dead. I thought he was I thought he must just have been like knocked out or so. uh, uh, This is all your fault, GLaDOS. This is all your fault. Oh yeah, I see you putting yourself on unportable walls so I can't destroy you. Yay, my companion cube. Hello. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. Oh, you're you're going to be my friend now, are you? Okay. So, are you going to help me get up the thing? I think you're going to help me get up the thing. If I jump up here. Way, that's a laser. That's a laser. Um actually my companion cube should be able to protect me from the laser, shouldn't it? Going to protect me from the laser. Beep. 
Yep. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. I'm trying to judge this right so I don't get hit in the face with a fucking laser. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm 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 gonna go for it. I got killed by a laser. Okay, so I need to figure out how to. So it's coming back, and then it's going to. Yeah. So I should at that point. Back. Yeah. So if I keep going backwards. And then I should be safe. Right, GLaDOS, right. Um. Oh, flipping egg man. It's gonna get complicated now, isn't it? Right, so I need to get a laser into there. I feel like the best way of doing that would be to put a thing there. Because then it will um, bounce, won't it? Yay, I'm a genius, right. Um, oh, 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 I know what I need to do. I need my companion cube. I need my companion cube to deflect lasers. Okay, 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 okay. So I need to kind of like... As I recall, this one's kind of pretty much luck because you just sort of... Yeah, you, sometimes you just kind of die. That can happen. Hey, there we go. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard his advice. So if I put my companion cube up here, on this one, like that, boop, and then I stand on this one. No, no, it would it would work better the other way. Oh, can I get up here without my companion cube? No, I can't. So I'm going to have to wait until the laser goes past and then stand on here. Fucking hell, man. Right, okay, so if I put a blue portal there. Um, and I need to get up there. So I will always be firing orange portals, otherwise I'll lose the one where it is that I need it. Right. And if I just go back the long way, where's that portal? Because I don't want to accidentally get killed by a laser. Right, so you're going through there. And then you're gonna come back, Whee! and then I'm gonna stand on here. Oh, at that point, it's going off on its own thing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I wonder if I can stand like on the side so it won't come straight at me. Oh, that's gonna come straight at me. That is. Boop. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, that was skill. That was, wasn't it? Did you see that? Did you see that fucking skill that was? Right, and that's gonna bring that one up. So I'm assuming I now need to get up there. Don't forget my companion cube. Very, very important. Okay, now we're back up here and we can jump through, across, through, whatever. Fuck! <laughs> Give me a moment, at least my companion cube made it. At least my companion cube made it. And jump, and jump, and jump. And then jump. Um, yeah, I don't have like a sprint. That's the problem. So I can't like take a run and jump at things. Because this is just the speed I walk at. She doesn't like to be rushed, does Chell. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. You, you mean you mean this incinerator? You mean that that incinerator there? Do I have to press the button? It's gonna open the inc. That's that's. That mean that's Rest good. assured that an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the enrichment center, aperture science employees, and all test subjects of any moral responsibility for the companion cube euthanizing process. I mean, that that's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do it, Glados. No, I'm not going to euthanize my companion cube. At least not until you run out of dialogue. Your companion cube cannot accompany you through the rest of the test. 
Ithaca Talk, and the Enrichment Center takes this opportunity to remind you that it cannot. It would tell you to go on without it because it would rather die in a fire than become a burden to you. Wow. That's dark, man. That's it's fucking dark. That is no we can be friends though. It wouldn't be a burden to me. It could be my pal, my buddy. We'll we'll be together forever, GLaDOS. Together forever! Okay, we will incinerate our companion cube, GLaDOS, you monster. Although the euthanizing process is remarkably painful, eight out of ten aperture science engineers believe that the companion cube is most likely incapable of feeling much pain. Okay, that no, I'm out, GLaDOS. I'm out. That that's not cool, man. You said that just as I was about it. That you're just trying to hurt me now. The companion cube cannot continue through the testing. State and local statutory regulations prohibit it from simply remaining here alone and companionless. You must euthanize it. Bit of a drama queen as Glados, isn't he? I think she's said they just got issues as Glados. Definitely got issues. Okay, we will incinerate our companion cube. There you go, little cube. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. Yeah, I bet you say that to everybody just to mess with them, you evil, evil machine. Right, okay, let's uh, let's go on. It's fine. We didn't need that cube anyway. I didn't need it before and I don't need it now, GLaDOS. You can't hurt me! The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. Thank you, GLaDOS. Thank you so much. You're so, you're so lovely to me. You are... She's throwing everything at me here. Except cake. Cake's the only thing I'm not allowed at the moment. This is 18 out of 19, so we're nearly there. Right. Just want to drop down here. Way! Hello. Um, ooh. Oh, I'm meant to be going up there, am I? But this is the secret area. Secret area I can crawl into. Ooh. More handprints from that poor person. Who has slightly deformed hands. Oh, he's got another radio! Oh, I fucking love the radios. This one's not on. Oh, there it is. Wait, oh, 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 hang on a minute. I'm battering it about accidentally. There we go. Just trying to put it over there. Not never, but now. Yes, that probably makes sense. Courage is not the absence of fear. I mean, that is true. But, you know... <laughs> That's not really an excuse for inflicting huge amounts of fear on people. Uh, help. She's watching you. That's GLaDOS there. Yes, I know she's watching me. And that's that's cake with a line drawn through it. Hmm. Because the cake is a lie. Okay, where's my radio? I'm going to take my radio with me because that will cheer me up with this strange radio station that only plays one song. But never mind. <laughs> um, just one song on repeat over and over again. I put my radio down there and I need to get up there somehow. So... Oh dear, I'm going to have to jump, aren't I? I'm going to have to jump over the toxic goo. Okay, little radio. Let's do it. Whee! I think I dropped my radio. Did I drop my radio? Oh, I dropped my radio into the toxic goo, guys. Oh, that's not good. That's sad. That, that almost makes me as sad as my companion cube debacle. Okay. Put a one up there and fall through here. Oh, fuck. It's that that makes me really sick. It's that falling from a great height thing. <laughs> it makes me kind of nauseous. I'm just going to close my eyes for a moment and sit here. Okay, I think my head has just about stopped spinning. Just. It's still spinning a little bit. Really does make me feel sick. Really does. <sighs> okay, stick a portal up there. Well, I nearly fell into the fucking toxic goo without even noticing. Jesus. <laughs> And there we go. And there's a button up there. Um, so that's the button to this door. And then I need a cube. I need a cube, GLaDOS. I need a cube. If I, you hadn't made me kill my fucking companion cube, then I would have had a cube. Let's try and get across there. There's a button. Oh, fuck. It's this one. Oh, you absolute arsehole. Flipping egg, Gladys. I thought you were a robot there. I thought you were going to kill me. Um, I mean, you are going to kill me, but... <laughs> Where? Ah! 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. Get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. <sighs> Fucking robots, man. Okay. Oh, 
sugar plum princesses. Right, um, how do I kill these robots? Right, I can use lasers, I presume. Can I use lasers to kill the robots? I'm assuming I can use lasers to kill the robots. If I put a, a thing there and a one... Oh, I don't even know. There? Is that high enough? Yay, that's high enough. Oh, fuck, I can do it the other way, can't I? So that it'll... Oh, flipping heck, man. I am the world's biggest idiot, you know that. Because I can see where his flipping lasers are and I've used the wrong portal there, so... <sighs> Whoa! Oh, you can see me through the portal. Oh, you crafty little sod. Yeah, absolutely crafty little sod. Right, I'm absolutely determined to get this bloody robot down. Right, come on. That's got to be it, surely. There we go! Jesus Christ. And last robot. There we go. Fucking hell. So that's all the robots taken care of, so I'm not going to get bloody shot at. Right, now I have to work out where those bloody lasers need to go. So, there's a one in there. And I'm assuming that that button will... Uh, can you get from there? Yeah, so that opens that. Right. And then it's on a timer. A very, very short timer. Okay, so I need... Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to... This is going to have to be super quick, this is. And... Hey! Oh, I'm a genius. I am the best. I am the most wonderful person in the world. That's amazing. My skills know no bounds. And now, now I've activated a lift. That's useful, probably. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do, guys. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I think I'm trying to get back out. I needed a cube, didn't I? Oh, fucking hell, I know I threw myself off there. I needed a cube, and I think this is just like a really, really long-winded way of getting hold of a cube. I think that's what this is. Because <clears throat> there's a cube there. I'm going to jump down here. Hit that. What does that do? That opens that, but it's on a timer. And then I need to get a cube. But the cubes are like... The cubes are... The cubes are up. Oh man, how do I get a cube? Oh, I see that! Oh, fuck a monkey. Right, so I need a way of propelling myself then. Because... Wait, what? Because that, when it comes out, it angles itself up, right? Right, so it angles its... I'm pointing at the screen to try and iterate, and that's not helping you at all, is it? But it points itself up, so if I could find something to fling myself off of... I could, because I can't get up there, can I? No, I can only get down here. So if I could find a way to fling myself... to gain some momentum... I could, like, fling myself over. But there's nowhere to jump off of. Um, yeah, if I put a portal in there. See, it's angled up, but what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Way that! Definitely not that. Whatever I was supposed to do, definitely wasn't that. I like how the game just lets you look around for a little bit. <laughs> just lets you look around and contemplate death before it decides to uh, auto-load for you. There's nothing portalable in there, is there, that I could get a portal onto? All I need is a cube, man. I just need a cube. I can't get in. The floor is, is the floor portable. Um, I shouldn't do that while this thing is moving. <gasps> That's where I get momentum from. Down there. Ah, oh, the lift's going without me. Right. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. Now I know what I'm doing. So if I put a blue portal there. Right, so I put an orange portal there, and I hit the button, and then I- Oh, flippin' heck, it's bloody cancelled my bloody thing, because I can't put a portal on it until it's finished moving because of, I don't know, reasons. Uh, so what's that one? That one's blue, so I need orange... Whee! And that gets me up here, and that gets me a cube. Oh my god. It's a fucking long-winded way of bloody going about things, isn't it? Jesus freaking Christ. And then I need to get this cube back over there and then I need to come back over and hit the button again. To be honest it probably would have been easier just to jump down there with the cube but I haven't done that so you know screw you. 
<laughs> Screw you and your logic. Oh, I've missed the fucking lift again. And hit the button and make the portal and jump back through and get under here and get my cube and get back under here. And there we go. You see? Simple. Simple. Anyone remember why we needed a uh, cube? It was for that, wasn't it? That was that was all of that, and that was all I needed it for. Um, um, I need something portable. That'll do. Through there. Whee! Okay, is this the end, Glados? Because I could really do with this being that this isn't the end, is it? Oh fuck's sake! I don't like you, stupid computer. Um. Oh. Oh, this is just nausea, isn't it? This is just going to be absolute nausea. This is just going to be me just, like, trying not to be sick for the next few minutes. Okay. Brace yourselves, everybody. Wee And wee And wee Where are we going next? Where are we going next? Where are we going next? Oh, my God. That nearly went wrong. Um. Um. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are we going? Where are we going? Right, any blue there, and then orange. Fucking hell! Well done. Jesus Be Christ! Advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. Okay, I'll get right on that, Glados. Do you have a sick bag by any chance? Because fucking hell! <laughs> I did half of that with my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, <laughs> right, let's get a move on, shall we? Because this should be the last one before cake. Yes, and then we're going to do this last test and then we're going to have some lovely cake and me and Glados are going to sit down and have cake and tea together and we're going to become the best of friends. That's what's going to happen. Spoiler alert. Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will drop the device in the Equipment Recovery Annex. Enrichment Center regulations require both hands to be empty before any cake... Okay, just had to take another brief break there for a moment. <laughs> just so I don't lose the contents of my stomach. Right, um, hello GLaDOS. Right, what are we doing here? Are we... Oh, fucking hell, what are we doing here? There's a, there's a indestructible laser going back and forth there. There's a laser coming down from there that needs to go up there. How is it going to do that? Because it's not going to be as simple as just doing that, is it? No, it's not. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh! That apparently worked. I, f I solved that one accidentally. <laughs> do you know what the solution was? The solution was to make it go through there, come out there, at which point it would bounce off there, at which point you remove the portal so it bounces off there and goes up there. I see that now, but I did not do that deliberately. That was that was a total fluke, that was. I will admit that one was a total fluke. I don't even know what that's done. What's that done? It's gone around here. It's it's done something here. I've got absolutely no idea. What have you done? What did you do, magic laser? You, 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 I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what it did, but never mind. Um, we'll, put a, put, we'll assume it's good. We'll put a portal there. <coughs> um, my throat is going. It's because I'm so unused to recording videos now. And I don't talk much in uh, real life. So my voice isn't used to being used for this prolonged period of time. That's a button. Press that button. And we'll put a portal through there. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be like a lift or something, is there? Right, okay. I'm going to need to... Um, no, hang on. I'm gonna need to do... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! I knew that wasn't gonna work. Do you know what? I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Even as I was fucking stepping through, I knew it. Ooh, there's a dead thing down there. What was that? Oh, was that the portal gun? <laughs> I think that was the portal gun. I thought there was like some kind of little secret, little secret hidden down there for me. Oops, the daisies. That was the wrong thing. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. There we go. That was much simpler than trying to do the thing what I did before. I was just making it needlessly complicated. <laughs> there was no need for that. Oh, Christ almighty. What the fucking... Um, 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 oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <gasps> that went all right, didn't it? Cake! The test is 
is now over. All aperture technologies remain safely operational up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory incandescence. Thank you for participating in this aperture science computer aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. Uh, can, can, can I have my cake now, please, GLaDOS? GLaDOS, can I have my cake? GLaDOS! GLaDOS, I want my cake, man! You promised me cake! Okay, okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to be a bit... Okay, jump! There we go! We made it! Stop it! We were going, going to murder, murder you. We are very, very happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous success. Place the device on the ground, then lie on your stomach with your arms at your sides. A party associate will arrive shortly to collect you for your party. Make no further attempt to leave the testing area. Assume the party escort submission position or you will miss the party. Okay, yes, so big surprise. GLaDOS tried to kill us and um, and there's no cake because, you know, the cake is a lie. Famously, famously the cake is a lie. And now we're going to run through the back areas. But the good thing about the back areas is she can't see us here. So that's nice. There's no little GLaDOS cameras looking at us. The place is a bit broken and just kind of run down generally, isn't it? Um, can I not get up here? Portals, man. Portals. You've got a portal gun. Name of the game, love. Name of the game. That's a door. Can I get through this door? I can get through that door. Caution, this equipment starts and stops automatically. That's good to know, isn't it? Can I pick up this wrench? <gasps> can I use the wrench as a weapon? Can I clobber people with it? <laughs> if there was anyone to clobber. Oh, Mass Effect 3 is ready to play. That's good to know, isn't it? Uh, yeah, if there was anybody to clobber with, which if there isn't. There's just a lot of robots down there. In the middle of building. You're looking a bit rusty, my friends. Looking a bit rusty. Might have been here for a while. Ooh, fans. Oh, I do love a big fan in a game. Do you love a big fan? I mean, it usually means that they're going to try and kill you. Did she just say, I can feel you? It's a bit creepy. A little bit creepy. Which way do you think we should go? Uh, I think it's much of a muchness. Um... Toxic goo on this side. That's good. Uh, if we put a thing up there. Go through here. Yeah, now we can see into all the back areas. Where there's like computers and empty chairs. And no people. And no bodies. Which is the bit I find most interesting. That bit of great uh, railing is just going to fall into the toxic goo there. But yeah, no bodies at all. GLaDOS cleaned up after herself, didn't she? Um, I need to get... A portal there? I could have put a portal like up there. Could I do that and then like jump? Oh my god, this feels like a bad idea. Let's go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. There we go. Uh, and then I can get in here. Yeah, just all these empty chairs, man. Can I pick the chair up? Can I throw the chair around? Wee! Just, just wee! <laughs> um, oh, a keyboard! Oh, that's a nice keyboard! Oh, I love those keyboards with all the different coloured keys. My brother had a keyboard like that. And all the keys were different coloured and I thought it was the best thing in the world. And now we just have lighty up keyboards, don't we? We have lighty up keyboards. My keyboard is lighty up. Actually, I have had this keyboard for approximately three years and I have only just discovered, because it's got a little key on it where you can change what colour it is, what colour the backlighting is. So it's got red and then blue and then purple, right? I have only just discovered the other day, in fact, yesterday it was, yesterday morning, that if you press the function key and that button, it sort of cycles between the colours. I've... Three years, guys. Three years, and I've never figured that out until just now. But, you know. Um, yes, I like a keyboard. I like a keyboard. Here's a keyboard. Um, I, I used to find it fascinating watching the behind-the-scenes... Um, well, behind-the-scenes, like, uh, what do you call it? On DVDs, the bonus features, that's it, on Pixar films. And you would get to see them when they were animating stuff because they have those keyboards that like fold up in the middle. So they're like a pyramid when they're working on them. I used to find them absolutely fascinating. Anyway, um, 
Let's have a little uh, shifty back here. Is this just... Ooh, this is one of the test chambers. Is that the first test chamber? Hang on, get this bloody chair out of the bloody way. Yeah, we are now behind the glass that we couldn't see through before. I think that's the first test chamber, is it? Or it's one of the early ones. So we're here now. Yes, and there's a screen with lots of code going up it. Oh, that might be GLaDOS talking to me. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Ooh, Black Mesa. Dollars and cents. Competing with Black Mesa for DoD and government-wide acquisition contracts. Yep, that seems like the kind of thing Aperture would do. And there's just nobody sitting at the table. It's all very spooky. Oh, oh, there's people leaving secret messages for me. Hang on a minute. Wait, it's not that secret. I mean, it's written in bright red blood on the wall. But, you know. Um, exit up that away. Up that away. I can go up that away. Can I go up that away? Can I? Wait. Oh, my God. Well, it's a good thing there's no bloody fall damage, isn't there? <laughs> um, and that way. There we go. Now. Okay, now where am I going? Am I going over there? I can hear things. Is that just pipes creaking? I think that's just pipes creaking. Um, oh no, I see what we're doing. I see what we're doing. If I put a thing there, maybe a bit further over, and then I go... Whoop, whoop. Wait, is that portable? It's not portable. Oh, but that's portable. Yeah, I, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Sometimes feel a bit bad when she starts doing the whole hello, is anyone there? Is anyone there? <laughs> but you know, she is a psychopathic computer who is trying to kill me, so I suppose. Oh, is that stuff written on the floor over there that I missed? Does that just say help? That just says help. I can't bloody help you, love. I'm in no better position than you are. And you're probably dead, so you know. The cake is a lie, the cake is a lie. Yes, I, I kind of got that. Um, handprints. I don't know how you managed to get handprints there, but. Wow, I suppose I'm going to have to jump into this tunnel now, am I? <sighs> Let's go for it then. Whee! I'm being propelled. Is that my companion cube or is that just normal cube? Oh my god, that was a normal cube. And oh dear, oh hell. Well, let's just hope we don't end up in a fucking incinerator, shall we? We're here now. Boop. Yeah. Okay, the test is over now. You win. Go back to the recovery annex for your cake. It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you won. The test is over. Come back. <laughs> I, love, I love how she just sort of, she becomes like a desperate parent, desperately trying to get a child to cooperate. That's what she becomes like. Just like, come back, come back and you can have cake. <laughs> um, right, so put a portal there and a one there. Yeah, because this is the early test chamber, because this was before we had two portals, so we wouldn't have been able to use that as a, a solution before, but now we can, you see? Um, and then get through into this lift. I mean, GLaDOS controls the lifts, so... Oh, there isn't even a lift here, there's just a lift shaft. Okay, let's just jump down the lift shaft then. Okay, so yeah, she's she's trying to entice me back with cake. Well, you know what, GLaDOS? Normally that would work with me, but it's not going to now. I'm going to jump through here. No, that doesn't work, does it? Because there's just a bit... Yeah, put it just a bit further over, Magpie, darling. There we go. Okay, is this going to be, yes, convenient machinery that just um, conveniently... I don't know, gets me to where I need to be? Or something? I don't know. I feel uncomfortable... I mean, I'm quite clearly under the floor of one of the test chambers because the test chambers are obviously, you know, like, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, adaptable, so she can just move them around and make them whatever she wants them to be. Ear protection must be worn in this area. I mean, I've got leg braces. Does that count? <laughs> um, yeah, so can I put a portal there? I can't put a portal there. I need to get up there because somebody's written the exit up there. But I can't I can't jump on anything. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm confused. I'm confused. All of those bloody test chambers, no bother at all. But this one, 
This has confused me. Oh, I see. I see what we're doing. I see. Yes, I understand. <laughs> okay, now I knew there would be a reason for those things going up like that. I was like, there must be a reason, man. There must be a reason. Um, what colour portal did I put up there? Blue. Marvellous. <laughs> um, that was exciting, wasn't it? Uh, right, yeah, and then we can just jump on top of this thing. We can go along here, jump up here and follow the exit. That's a portal through there. Danger, confined space, hazardous atmosphere, air supplied, respirator required for entry. Eh, I'm sure I'll be fine. And then, weep. And... Just want to make sure I'm not, like, flinging myself into certain death here. I might be flinging myself into certain death! I think we're alright. I think we're okay. I think... Oh dear. Are we okay? I'm not sure we are, actually. I think... <laughs> Put you up there and then I can do a bit of a jump. Jump, 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 jump. Fucking hell, Chell. Dear me. Jump. That's what I wanted you to do. And, oh, loading. That's because I don't have lifts anymore. That's the, yeah, so now we just have to have spontaneous loading times instead. Yeah, so poor GLaDOS really doesn't know much about the art of negotiation, but never mind. <laughs> She is a computer, so we'll uh, let her off with that. Okay, where am I going? I'm going in there. Can I put a pole somewhere in there? Oh, can I climb the ladder? Can I climb the ladder? Can I climb the ladder? Okay, wow, the ladder just, like, spontaneously collapsed at my touch. Well, <laughs> give a girl a complex around here, couldn't you? Does that touch the ceiling, or can I stand on it without getting crushed? Oh, I don't know. I feel like... Jump! There we go, I don't need to find out now. Was that it? Was that as simple? Was it as simple as that? Because I feel like it should be more complicated than that. Is that where I need to get to ultimately? Oh, I can make the ladder fall down. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Oh, help. The cake is a lie. Yes, I know the cake is a lie, darling. I figured that much out for myself. We haven't found the one with all like the love hearts drawn around the companion cube. Have I, just, have I missed that one or have I just not reached it yet? Because it's a bit where it's like, it's got like a whole wall dedicated to the, it's like a shrine dedicated to the companion cube. I can put a thing up there, I wonder if I can get on to, no, if I put a one there, yes. Then I can get on to that. Whoops, the daisies. And then I might, if I'm really, really lucky. I'm not really, really lucky. I was thinking I might be able to get like, up there. Hmm. 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 Wee. Uh, that doesn't help me either, does it? <coughs> I don't know what will help me, to be honest. Don't know what I'm meant to do now. Jump onto this one, because this one's not going to kill me. Those two will. Those two will definitely kill me. This one won't. Ah! There we go. That's what we do. And then... Then we end up here. Marvellous. Yes, I think GLaDOS may definitely be losing her grip on reality at the moment. <laughs> if she ever had one to begin with. I mean, considering that she was a, an evil computer specifically designed to, like, you know, put humans through very unethical tests. You know, I mean, um, <laughs> maybe she never had much of a grip on reality. I've just had a really fun idea. I do that. Oh, no, I still get crushed to death. I still get crushed to death. That didn't work exactly as I thought it would. I thought I would be clever. Okay, let's try that again, because what I'm trying to do is find something fucking portable through here. There isn't anything. There isn't anything, guys. There's nothing I can portal. Is the floor portable? The floor's not portable. Nothing's portable. So I'm kind of a bit stuck. That's meant to be going up there. Am I meant to be going up there? Eh, yeah, I'm possibly meant to be going up there. Right. <clears throat> that one's blue. So if we put a, an orange one there. Please don't crush me, please don't crush me. Wee! Ow! Right, and I need to get up there apparently. Put a portal through there. So he wants me to go up and then through there. 
Okay. Do I suppose that door opens? Does it? That door doesn't open. No, that door doesn't open. Um, oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Is this a propel yourself kind of a thing? Am I meant to be... Yes, yeah, so that's orange. Orange! Whee! Oh, oh, game, are you all right? Are you all right? Are you having a panic attack? Are you okay? I think she's all right. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. Right, just get the bloody portal. There's a portal, and there's a portal. Actually, I'll tell you what she's more like, rather than a parent. She's more like a kind of auntie who's been left with the kids and, like, trusted with them for the first time ever. And then it's all gone wrong. And she's just like, you know what? Just come back, man. Just come back. We can still be friends. I'm not angry. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> That's what she's like. Old GLaDOS nightmare auntie. Um, over here. Right, you want me up there, do you? <clears throat> Yes, I can see portable walls and stuff, but there is quite a lot of crap in the way. So I'm going to put a one there. See what we can see. What can I see? What can I see? I mean, I can drop down onto that. And then... Where am I going after that? I'm going to say right now, this section is doing nothing for my motion sickness. Um, Where the fuck am I going from here? Oh fuck, this is really making my head spin. This is right. I got I just need to close my eyes for a minute. I just I just wanna portal man! I just wanna be able to portal something. I can't portal anything. Hang on, I'm gonna jump back down. I'm gonna jump back down, jump back down, jump back down. Right. I've got a higher one. Ah I can see portable floor. If I can stand on something high enough, stand on these. There we go. And then I can jump down here. Oops, daisies. And then, oh, oh, oh. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Try not to look. Try not to be sick. Try not to be sick. Hey, fucking hell, man. Don't like moving things. I don't like moving things in a first person game. I mean, third person games, knee bother at all. I never have any trouble with third person games. And, and things like Fallout and Skyrim and Oblivion and stuff like that, I tend to play them in third person rather than first person. Um, although you're meant to play them in first person, really, but honestly, I just can't. It, it just, they're just unplayable to me in first person because I just feel so bloody sick all the time. Actually, I'll tell you what really sets me off is, you know, the build mode in Fallout 4 because you can't do that in third person. And I love the building. I spent ages doing it making like perfect little bases that's kind of why i play it it's like it's more like the sims apocalypse expansion pack to me more than anything <laughs> that's what fallout 4 is to me it's just like the sims in the apocalypse i just spent ages building everything and making everything pristine and lovely but oh my god it does make me ill like really ill honestly but anyway um <clears throat> i'm guessing i'm dropping down that one and i'm gonna go along here my throat sore as well from talking because <laughs> I've, I've gotten so out of practice and then we're just going to jump down here see all the cubes flying around why is there toxic goo everywhere Yeah, so GLaDOS is just silently going insane over there, but that's fine. Won't need to worry about that too much. Oh, fucking duck, man. Yeah, so this is where it gets interesting, because I need to now jump. I can't make that fucking jump, can I? Can I make that jump? I'm not convinced I can make that jump. I think I need to get the blue in a better position. Get it a bit more like there. I mean, it's weird, because from there, that looks like it should be pretty much dead centre, but from here, not so much. Yeah, that's not dead centre at all. Jump! Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, that went very well, I think. Right, okay. Let's uh, keep on going. You want me to go down there, do you? Will that door open? Of course it won't, because doors are evil. You want me to go down here? Oh, loading. Loading. This is where there should have been a lift. Right. Oh, secret area, secret area. Yes, water, beans, help. 
still haven't found the companion cube area. Have I missed it? I hope I haven't missed it because it's my favourite little bit. The little companion cube shrine. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. Oh, this looks like a trap if ever I've seen one. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Not happy. Not a happy bunny. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Go for it. Go. So, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I can just throw that at you. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, 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 I mean, nearly, nearly, I nearly survived then. I'll be better prepared this time. Okay, 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 so, I've got my barrel, I've got my barrel. It's you that's going to open first, isn't it, you little arsehole? Wait, and I'm stuck on the door, I'm stuck on the door, I'm stuck on the door. Fucking hell, man. <sighs> you don't blame me, that's very sweet of you. And then you can just fucking go down. You're going to fucking probably kill me by accident more than anything. Hit my barrel, don't hit me, hit my barrel. And then... <laughs> oh, I'm amazed that I'm still alive. Okay. Okay, so that was GLaDOS's little trap there. Didn't quite work. And then, is that a portable wall over there? That's a portable wall. There's hard prints. Still no companion cube shrine. I think I might have missed it, you know. <coughs> um, oh, 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 you're still alive, my friend. You're not a good person. You know that, right? Good people don't end up here. Oh, I I'm not a good person, apparently. The psychopath computer is trying to tell me that I'm not a good person. Would you just go over there, please? Thank you. You're not going to shoot at me? Oh, do you not have any bullets? Oh, sweetheart. Oh, I feel really bad now. Are you just like like an, like an impotent robot? <laughs> Got no bullets. Oh, I just knocked you over for no reason. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, please forgive me. Uh, I already accidentally burned one of your friends to death while still alive. Is this radio going to work? Oh, the radio won't work. Oh, oh, my life's getting all sad now. Um, right, so I need to go that way and jump down here and okay. I feel like this maybe wasn't the best idea in the world. Wait, hang on, maybe I was meant to hang. put that down here, get back out here. Was I maybe meant to? Where even was I? Go on top of the uh, go on top of the pipe. Might have been a better idea, mightn't it? Land on top of the uh, on top of the. Oh fucking hell! Motion sickness, man! Motion sickness! Give me a second. Are we nearly at the end yet? Because honest to god, <laughs> honest to god, who thought this would be a good idea? Right, drop down here. I mean, there's nothing to pull. Can I just jump? I think I meant to just jump. So, ooh, 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 jump! There we go. Um, and then go through here, follow the red arrows. Mind you, I don't know whether the person leaving the red arrows is really my friend, you know. I also can't apparently get through this gap. There we go. Oh, there's a robot. Just, just jump on the robot. Hello, little robot. Robot, 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 would you please fall over? Thank you. Just, just... Uh, Bob. Are you still there? Am I still here? Oh fucking hell, you landed on your feet, you little arsehole. You weren't meant to do that. Jesus Christ. Why? <laughs> They're very cute, aren't they? Um and then over here. Oh fucking hell. Jesus Christ. That was a noise in the real world that made me fucking jump. Oh my god, you know when you can feel your heart just do a little kind of <gasps> I don't know what that was. That was somebody in the bike lane doing something. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, over here. You want me up there? How am I going to get up there? Um, oh, wait. Is this... Is this the companion cube shrine? No, this is just she's always watching you. The cake is a lie. Where's the companion cube shrine? Oh, I'm sure I must have missed it, you know. I'm sure I must have missed it. Right, you want me up there? 
How the hell am I going to get up there? Do I have to use a bloody thing? Oh, now we're back into office type areas. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back or I will kill you. I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last chance. Uh-huh, yes, yeah, gonna kill me, things like that, last chance, blah blah. Oh, somebody wrote a, 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 drew a face even. The big bad jellyfish wanted. Okay. Interesting. Um, <laughs> maybe that was from Bring Your Daughter to Work Day. Um, and then there's an emancipation, emancipate, emancipation grill. Yes, I can speak. I'll throw the chairs through the emancipation grill. Oop. There we go. We can incinerate chairs. That's exciting. Through this door. There's a button I can press. Oh, is this the missile thing? Oh, fuck. Yep, 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 yep. That's the missile thing. Can I can I unpush the button now? Because it's going to keep missiling me. There we go. And... Wait, fucking hell, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. I forgot about the missile thing. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to get over there, game? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what I'm supposed to do. I knew there would be a bloody reason that that wall was portable, you know. I bloody knew it. That you want me to make it shoot missiles at me, don't you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Now you want me in there? Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to... Uh, j j j I need, I need, I need my companion cube. That's what I need. Oh dear, I definitely don't need him. He's just going to shoot missiles at me. I need my companion cube. I want my companion cube. Oh, I can get a nice, nice image of myself though. Uh, there's me looking all sexy. Hello, Chell. You're all right there, sweetheart. Oh, I know you've had a bit of a difficult day. <laughs> okay, the answer clearly is not to find something portable. I need something to stand on then. Is this the, uh, is this the solution? I'm not convinced this is the solution. It might not even work, especially since the chair can't stand up. Just boop, and then, and then, and then. Boop. Okay. No, chair, you're not doing me any favors here. You're, you're a terrible replacement for the companion cube. Oh, that worked. I have no idea if that was the solution, but it worked. It worked. Right, so now we're going through here. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? That's it. Ooh, light. Is that daylight? Could I... Is that, is that daylight, guys? Could I escape through there to the real world? You know, fine, well, I'm not going to escape to the real world. <laughs> That's not going to be a thing. What colour portal did I put down there? Blue. And now we're in here. There's a door that won't open. Oh, fucking toxic sludge. What is with the toxic sludge? And now you want me to go up through a fucking grate. Because of course you do. <sighs> this guy is really starting to irritate me. I know he's trying to help me and everything. But he's really just starting to get on me wick, to be honest with you. This is interesting. It's like sludgy stuff. It's not killing me. But... I can't fucking walk on it very easily because I just keep... I'm not touching the keyboard right now, right? Touching the keyboard? Not touching the keyboard. <laughs> I'm on ice, guys. This is like dancing on ice, portal style. I do not like the look of those doors. Not enjoying this at all. Are they all going to open at once? Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, boop, boop, boop. Okay, drop you. One behind you, and boop, and drop you. Can we get that one? Yep. And boop, hello, drop you. And is that a one over there, or have I already done that one? I don't know. Let's find out. There's a one. Boop, and boop. And one over there. These poor robots, I do feel sorry for them. Oh, you still you stayed standing up, well done. 
It's just, just put, okay. go down there. And you. Pop. And is that it? Is there one more? There's one more. I can just see his little laser light around there. Just gonna put a little portal in there, and then I can just grab him. Please put me down. Please put me down. Okay, I will put you down, little robot. Sorry. <laughs> no hard feelings. I do like them. They're so adorable. Right, now, where am I supposed to be going from here? Oh, there's one up there. There's one up there, man. One up there. Hmm. Can I drop a friend on him? That's making my fucking head spin. That is just even looking at that is making my fucking head spin. That's how bad motion sickness I'm getting right at this moment. Uh, drop you down there. Oh, just looking at it, it's just like, no, no, the dimensions are all wrong, everything's upside down, I don't like it, I'm going to close my eyes as I jump through. I don't know, but I, I do see that those are all angled, so I'm assuming this is not going to do my motion sickness any good at all. Right, up there is where I need to be ultimately going, isn't it? So, oh god, <laughs> I really do feel sick. Um, right, if I jump through... So that's orange I'm going into. Oh my god. Just need to look away for a moment. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right. So jump. Right. Orange. Orange. Oh, fuck you. Right. Orange. Orange. Or. Need to get my timings a bit better here, guys. And. Orange. Do you know something? Orange. And wait, 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 wait. Why am I getting the impression that this is maybe not the solution? Maybe I'm just shit. I might just be shit. That's, that's possible. Actually, I know what we need to do. Because that, that is not what we needed to do. What we need to do is we just step through. And then, no, that's not what I wanted you to do either. Way smack my face into a wall. Right, if I put you there, and if I go like, oh, I thought I could be clever and make that work. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I feel really, really ill. Uh, Wee. Right. Orange. 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 There we go. That worked. That worked. That worked. Orange. I don't think this is the solution, you know. Orange. Orange. No, this is definitely not the solution. Right. Let's think. Where am I meant to be going? I'm quite clearly meant to be going up there, right? <clears throat> so what I need is I need to get a portal up there, which I can then use momentum. But I can't get a portal up there. I can only get a portal there. Unless when I'm jumping out of, hang on, Oop. and then is that what I'm meant to be doing? I think that's what I'm meant to be doing. Yes, yes, yes. I see now. I was making it more complicated than it needed to be, as always. <laughs> that was all I needed to do. <coughs> and now I feel very, very sick. Like very sick. Like really sick. Like, I'm definitely going to feel like this for the rest of the whole day. Which I knew I would. I knew I would. Oh, there's robots come to kill me. Boop. 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 All right, there, little robot. And boop. Critical error. Critical error. I'm going to go back through there. There you go. You can just spin for all eternity. Um... Is there anything nice and portable up there for me? Or am I going to have to use momentum again? I hate having to use momentum. Because it just, it just, it doesn't make me feel very well. <laughs> um, but if I jump off of here, that should be enough to get me up here. And then I can get up there. Fuck! That's not where I'm meant to be. That's, 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 fuck. Right, up there, then up there. Jesus Christ. OK, 
Get your colours right, Magpie. Get your colours right. Oh, this is a Star Wars walkway, this is. Except it's got railings. A Star Wars walkway wouldn't have railings, but still. I don't trust this. This doesn't look like the kind of walkway I'm supposed to get to the end to end of, does it? Oh dear, this looks a bit fucking desolate, doesn't it? I don't like the look of it. There's, there's a emancipation grill over there. If I can get off these chairs. But I haven't been this away yet. Is the door I can open? It's not a door I can open. And is that where I came from? I think... Yeah, that's where I came from. Okay. So, only one way to go. And this is it. This is the end. So we never found the companion cube shrine. So I've definitely missed a secret area. Because I missed the companion cube shrine. I'm already annoyed about that. That's my favourite fucking bit of the whole bloody game. Oh well, never mind. Hello, Gladwell Starling. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behaviour, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind, it's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I don't know, I just thought I'd pick it up. I mean, I wanted to pick up your telephone. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. I'm trying to get it there so that when I open the... Neither one of us knows what that thing does. Just put it in the corner and I'll deal with it later. I'm trying to incinerate it, GLaDOS, but it won't behave itself. That thing is probably some kind of raw sewage container. Go ahead and rub your face all over it. A raw sewage container? That one's good, GLaDOS. That's good, right. Okay, just like... Maybe you should marry that thing since you love it so much. Portals! That's what... I won't let you. How does that be? Portals, man. Name of the game. Flippin' heck, man. Bye. To you, I mean, in this room. Trust me, leave that thing alone. Yeah, fucking hell, of course it's gonna be a fucking portal. It's called portal, you've got a portal gun, you need to keep remembering that, really. Just I am being go, serious go in now. there, go in that there. Go. Ooh, that did You're something! Me. Did you just set that aperture science thing, we don't know what it does, into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's a picture of a cow. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding, flooding the, the enrichment center with, with a deadly, deadly neurotoxin. neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh. That core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than a neurotoxin. Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. Yeah, this is always like the best bit when she, um... Oh, there's more of her. Uh, oh, it's ended up up there, man. Fucking hell. Yeah, when she, uh, the moment that you incinerate that thing and, and it's like the thing that's keeping her half sane and she just becomes a fucking psychopath and she gets GLaDOS psychopath voice. That's the best thing. When she goes like all cold and dark and oh, now I'm a psychopath. <laughs> she was always a bit of a psychopath, but now she's a real psychopath. Um, boop. Oh, that one screamed. Oh, that's not nice. Two plus two is. In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long because I was. Oh, glad off you dodged that one, you little cow. Honestly. You've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to, or head any faster. Where did that one go? Did anybody see where that one went? I have literally no idea where that one went. 
Also, I feel like there should be some more dramatic music playing right now. Oh, fucking hell, it's all the way up there. Really? How the fuck am I supposed to get all the way up there? Oh, GLaDOS, you're so awkward. Did she just call me an unlikable loner whose passing shall not be mourned? Because to be honest with you, that's not entirely in inaccurate in real life. There you go. And oh. GLaDOS coughing. I think GLaDOS is coughing. Right. Uh, how's that looking? Um, ooh, fucking hell. No, that's not good enough, man. That's not good enough. I need... I need it, like, more over that way. No, I think actually it's more of an issue with. Oh, it's probably. I should probably be putting it where the little markers are. It's probably what the little markers are for. Gladys, could you move over a little bit there, love? Just, just over a little. No, 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 no. Wrong way. Don't believe me? Here, I'll put you on. That's That's how dumb you sound. It's <laughs> my favourite bit. Um. Oh. I don't know who she's talking to. I don't know if she's talking to me or if she's talking to herself because she was talking about deleting backups and I'm like, you can't delete my backup. I'm a, I'm a human person, kind of, probably. Right, where is that fucking thing? It's down there. I'm a... Oh, fucking hell, Gladys. You're not making this easy for me, love, are you? What are we down to? We're down to one and a half minutes. Right, I think this is the last one. So... Oh, fucking hell. Right, get you. I think I've only got like... Yeah, I've got a minute. We've got plenty of time, man. Plenty of time. The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even care, do you? Is that it? Are we done? I think we're done. Oh, I'm a heartbreaker. Oh, I'm sorry, GLaDOS. I didn't mean to break your heart. But you know, you were trying to kill me, so... Yep, there she goes. She's managed to form a black hole or something. <laughs> Very dramatic way to die. Considering all I did. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, GLaDOS. Oh, GLaDOS. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you don't have to take me with you.
Oh, and there's my companion cube. There you are, you see? The cake is not a lie. <clears throat> Despite all the memes and the tattoos that people get and all the things you see on the internet, the cake is not a lie. I mean, you were never going to get any. She was keeping it for herself, obviously. And then we're about to hear the best song ever written. This was a triumph. So I'm just going to stay quiet. I'm going to stay quiet and let GLaDOS talk to you. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction Aperture science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of and the science gets done and you make a neat plan for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me, I'm torn There we go, that was Portal, from the beginning to the end, and that was my comeback video, is what I'm going to call it, and it was probably not the most entertaining video in the world, but you know, it's going in the Sunday morning slot, so it's not meant to be entertaining, it's meant to be chill, it's meant to be relaxing, you can probably hear sirens going off in the background because there's police cars driving past my fucking house, as always, never mind. Oh, oh, the camera's panning, what's the camera panning to? <gasps> is it my companion cube? Oh, my little companion cube. I mean, not my companion cube, obviously, because I incinerated mine. GLaDOS forced me to kill it. If I wait here long enough, will the camera move again? <laughs> because really, I'm going to wait here until I can think of a, 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 a convenient thing to say as like an outro. I'm getting back into the swing of it. I will get better as we go along. Probably. Probably. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go and I'm going to probably throw up. Um, <coughs> I'm going to spend the rest of the day trying not to throw up. <coughs> And I will see you again very soon. Probably. Hopefully. I hope so. Oh yes, and I've got an outro screen now. Do you like it? I think I think it's quite I've got an intro screen as well. You probably noticed that at the beginning of the video. I did a, I got like a little intro thing with like proper pictures. Proper pictures that I paid monies for for the the, the, the um the, the, the privilege of using. And now I've got a little end screen. And I put little, like, thunderstorm noises over it. I don't know why. I can't remember. It was many months ago that I made it. But... <laughs>
Seemed like a good idea. I don't know. Thunderstorm noises. Why not? I don't fucking know. Anyway, yeah. So I've got I've got intro screens and outro screens now. Yeah. Look at me being all professional. Took me a whole fifteen minutes of my time to make these. Look at me putting in effort. It's got like things that you can click on, like videos and stuff, and then you can click on my little logo if you want. I think that subscribes you. I'm not entirely sure. I think it does. You could do that if you wanted, or not. I'm not really that fussed, to be honest. <laughs>